Hey everyone, welcome back to Taproot TV. I'm Benna Hughes, and something we get asked a lot about is when should somebody get their essential Taproot training, and when should they get the training that's your five day for your major investigations? And Mark Paradise is here with me today. Welcome, Mark. Thank you, we're Anna. going to talk about this, and we're going to start by showing a major incident. Here we go. This news alert as we are getting new video of that building collapsing in New Orleans. There it goes. That is the Hard Rock Hotel that is under construction and you can see the crane ripping off the side of the building and falling down. Right now there is one day. Now obviously that's not a simple investigation. Obviously not. Obviously not. So what we teach in the two-day course is techniques to do maybe a precursor event to this yes. so they could learn from that and stop the thing from happening. Right. But when we have a major investigation to do, we'll use the whole seven-step mm -hmm. process with all the optional techniques. So let's escape from this and scroll down here a little bit. And there is, oh, just not quite fit on there, will it? The seven-step process. Yes. For major investigations and we'll put a link in mm -hmm. here so that you can go straight to this article and, and see this stuff yeah, it's a great article. Um, so what we really do is number one if you're in a major investigation you're going to have to plan your mm -hmm. investigation because you don't want to destroy evidence when you go into the scene and some of that's actually going to occur before the accident ever happens mm -hmm. you're going to have a policy you're going to have people prepared um, to, to court and off the scene in fact in this case probably somebody else would be doing all that there would be probably police and fire uh, courting off the scene, and you as an investigator might not get in to go in there right. until somebody has already said um, the scene is safe. Right. You don't want so, any more incidents happening. And so you might have to talk to the people who are going in and making the scene safe, so if they collect or find evidence, you get informed about it um, as an investigator. So all that's up front mm -hmm. in the planning phase. And, and the second part of this would be determining the sequence of events. So you would go back to what happened and, and you know we just saw the building collapsing right? right but we didn't see the days or weeks before that that led up to the collapse and it may be weeks back where things were set up for this to happen so you'll need to go back in time and get that whole complete event sequence of events to your circle and your circle in this case is the building collapsing and I don't really know how many people got killed but there was at least two or three that got killed in this yeah, tragic. Uh, accident and we want to find out why. Yes. Why did they get killed? And, and then of course after that circle there's the emergency response and, and if you listen really closely to what he had to say he was saying that there were going to be rescue workers mm -hmm. coming in to try to there were three people still unaccounted for and trying to find them and uh, so that you know if they made mistakes doing that that caused more injuries or whatever to these people that would be included in your investigation as well. Right. Very complex, yep. and getting that all that in depth, you want all your data. And up front, you're going to be getting using your snap chart, yes. and then your optional techniques, Equifactor Chap, and change analysis, mm -hmm. when applicable, to help you collect information right. so you get a good complete sequence of events. And this is one of those things that takes us into more in depth. It does, yes. and, and in the five day course, we teach all those techniques right. and how to use them, have examples of them so that people can practice using mm -hmm. them in the course rather than the first time that you use one is in an investigation. Oh, then, then we analyze, um, we determine our causal factors and we analyze those causal factors using the root cause tree. And um, obviously it's something we teach in both the two day and yes. the five day course, but the five day course, you get a lot more practice using the tree. You get to practice um, it on several different examples. In fact, one major example every day of going through the tree and finding root causes. So you've got a lot of practice and you feel very confident. And that's doing one of that. those areas you really want to know how to do that well. And you, in the five day course, you get to um, use the software a lot mm -hmm. more. So, if, you know, most everybody wants to use the software. So if you want to learn to use the software better, the five day course yes. isn't a software course, but it is right. a better course to learn the software in because you use it so much more. Yes. Um, then you're going to, um, once you find your root causes, and then in a major investigation, you're going to talk about generic causes. So we may not be looking for just um, the exact things that caused this building to collapse, but are there generic problems that could cause problems on other construction right. projects that we're working on, and maybe we can fix and prevent accidents on those sites. Definitely something you want to do. Then you're going to, once you get all your root causes and generic causes, 
you're going to be down the last two steps here. You're going to develop your corrective mm -hmm. actions, your fixes, and you're going to be using Smarter, and you're going to be using the Corrective Action Helper to do that. And we teach both those mm -hmm. techniques in the Essentials course and in the five-day course. Yes. So two-day or five-day, you'll learn both of those. And then you're going to present that, get approvals, and implement those um, corrective the actions. Program. Yes. The program. And that's, that's program. your walking through yes. the process there. And it really is a um, detailed, systematic process for me doing a major investigation. And, and the book is, um, well, here's, here's the Essentials book, and it's a little book. Your, fi your other book is probably two or three times yeah. the size for the fi what's in the five-day course. Well, one of the things I always tell people when I'm, I'm talking to new companies about how they're implementing Taproot is, you know, because they're all asking, should I be, we do the two-day course or the five-day course? And I'm like, well, you should have somebody, at least several people that's been to the five-day course because, like you said, they're going to learn all this deeper. I, I forgot to mention something. What? I forgot to mention that you learn all the two-day course stuff in the five-day yes, course. Yes, you do. So it's not, it's not like you have to take the two-day right. and the five-day. You can just take the five-day and you learn both systems. Um, if I go back over here to this other article. Because basically you expand out on what they've learned. What the two-day course has, um, you've got, what, four steps. Here, here we go. Yes. Here's the, the simple investigation process. Step one, you draw your snap chart. Then you decide if there's anything to learn. Then you go to step two, and you identify your causal factors. You go through the tree, and mm -hmm. you develop fixes. So in the simple process, first off, we've got the thing where you can just skip over. I mean, not skip over. You draw your snap mm -hmm. chart, and then you can say, hey, there's nothing to learn here. Right. This is a simple incident. We're not going to do that whole stuff. Right, right, exactly. We just stop. And that saves a whole lot of time. Mm -hmm. If not, then you define your causal factors, you take them through the tree, and you develop fixes for them. You don't do the generic cause stuff usually, and um, it's a lot simpler investigation to do. Now, that's what we teach in the two-day course, and it doesn't have all those optional techniques. It doesn't have teaching people about interviewing. It doesn't have all the other stuff that we teach mm -hmm. in the five-day course, but all this is in the two day in the five day course. The, all the two day material is in the five day course. I do want to make a point on a lot of times people they don't think they can use Taproot for everything. And it's just that snap chart step, that very initial step, you know, some people think, well, I've got to go through a whole tap route. Sometimes you can do just that. Well, in fact, in this case, when you're doing the snap chart, when you get to that, is there more to learn? You may decide, whoa, this is way more complicated than I thought. We need to do a a full investigation yes. on this, we need to do the, the seven-step process. Mm -hmm. And so you can jump from one into the other. Yes. It's a little harder to jump back. I mean, if you think you've got a major investigation, you probably aren't going right. to decide this is a simple. The building isn't going to collapse, right. and you're not going to say, oh, that was a simple investigation. No. So <laughs> Some you, of them you're going to just... You're, you're, you're going to know <laughs> when, it's a, when it's a complex investigation. Well, and you'll have those, that'll be in your policy, like when you're going to do a simple yes. tap route and when you're going to do a major. And it's usually based on the consequences mm -hmm. that occur. Because you could have a simple incident that showed you one potential cause of that building collapse. And none of the other causal factors happened, but one of them did. Mm -hmm. And you could take that and learn about that and eliminate that causal factor, and it might eliminate the whole building collapse. Right. So, uh, you know, it's... The simple investigations are for your common everyday mm -hmm. stuff. Your major accidents you probably don't have very often, but we also teach how to investigate the simple stuff in the five-day course, so you're getting both of those in those five days. Well, we have people who've started in the two-day, and then they come on to the five-day, and it, I've, I've been there when the light bulb's really gone off in their head, yep. and they're like, this is exactly what I was looking for. Exactly. So, I, I mean, just that extra knowledge. You learn so much stuff in that two-day course. Yes. It's jam-packed. Well, and that's the thing about going to the two-day and then going to the yes. five-day is um, uh, you see these training experts and they talk about somebody learns but like between 20 and 30 percent of what they hear in a in a course, even a really good course, you only retain about 20 or 30 percent. Right. So you can go to the two-day course and when you come back to the five-day course you're really, even the things we've already covered, you're learning more of what yes. we covered. And I think the thing I look to see happen a lot 
is that people ask really good questions after they've been to the two-day course yes, they do. because they've tried these things and they they have like a built-up mm -hmm. list of questions they, they want do. to ask when you go through things because well now they get another chance to ask questions and they've learned the terminology and they've they've gone back and practiced and stuff and so they really see the values so I think it's it's fantastic so that's why I do I always tell people you even if you're investigating the majority of everything you're going to do is going to be your your simple investigations you definitely want some five day training people well and the other thing that I always think it's people always think well should I get the two day or the five day I would say. You should go to the five day mm -hmm. if at all you can afford the right. time to do it. Absolutely. Um, because you'll learn so much in that five day course. I've told so many people, like, you will not be sorry. Yep. You will be so glad that you took that time and you and you went and did that course. So, so let me tell you a quick story. Okay. Um, I had this senior manager from a refinery and he wanted to go to a two day course. He didn't even know there was a five day course. And he told his assistant, sign me up for the next Tapper course. Well, she did exactly what he said. She went to the list of courses. The next one was a five-day. She signed it up. She arranged his travel. She gave him his tickets. He got on board the plane. He arrived at the course. And at the start of the course, I always start out with, hey, you're here at a two-day course, or here you're at a five-day course. And I made a joke that day. Does anybody think they're in a two-day course? And I, it was just a, a quick just joke. And he's like, well, this is a two-day course, isn't it? And I go, no, this is a five-day course. He goes, no, this is a two-day course. I'm like, no, this is a five-day course. And he goes, I said, did you fly here? And he goes, yes. I said, look at your ticket. And he got his ticket out. And he goes, I'm not going home until Friday. So he was glad at the end. He, he was. That's exactly right. He came up to the end of the course and he said, you know, I, I really only thought I was going to be here for two days, but these five days have been really worthwhile. I've learned a lot of stuff that I should have known way earlier in my career. And I will be recommending our guys go to the five-day course because this is really valuable stuff. And But it was so funny. That so the look funny. at his face is like... <laughs> He's in shock. <laughs> 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 that's funny. Well, that's um, great. And, you know, we know not everybody can go to a five-day. Um, right. Sometimes it's just not, you know, cost prohibitive at your company. or But it, accidents are Well, uh, more another expensive. way to think of it is go to the two-day. Yes. Apply what you've learned, see the value in it, and then go, gosh, guys, this is really worth me going to a five day to learn the rest of the stuff I don't know. Another interesting story, um, I had a guy who, or actually, it was five guys. Mm -hmm. They went to a two-day course up in St. Louis, and I, and I taught it, and they were there, and I, you know, I was sort of wondering, they were from Houston, they were in St. Louis, why didn't they take the course in Houston? We do Houston courses all the time. But I didn't get a chance to ask him that question, and the course was over, and they went home, and that was the end of that. About six months later, I'm teaching a course in Orlando, and these same five guys show up. And I thought, this has got to be some kind of boondoggle, because we also do five-day courses in Houston, and why aren't they in the five-day right. course in Houston? And, and I meant to go talk to them about it, but I never got a chance. So they did the five-day course, they disappeared. About six, nine months after that, here these same five guys are at the summit. And now I'm like, i got to go talk to them. And Absolutely, I remember the guy's name yeah. was Jeremy Esquivel, and I went up to Jeremy and I said, what? I, you know, <laughs> what you were in the two-day course, you were in the five-day course, St. Louis, Orlando, I don't remember where the summit was, but it was someplace good. Yeah. And I said, what are you guys doing? He goes, oh, let me tell you our story. Our site was going to be shut down. Um, they told our plant manager that our performance, our, our, um, our cost performance, they're, they're, they weren't making any money, and so they were going to shut us down. And he knew they had six months to turn it around or we'd be shut down. And so he got this um, advertisement about Taproot, and he called me in and said, get a couple operators, a couple maintenance guys, and, you, and you're going to go to this Taproot course, and you're going to come see if you can fix our problems. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we showed up in St. Louis. We wanted to go to the first one we could get to because we know we didn't have much time. We went back and we started applying, and it was a two-day course, and we started applying what we'd learned. And he said, first thing we learned was the operators weren't using procedures. In fact, every different shift had a different way they ran the plant. And so every shift turnover, we'd have an upset, and we'd lose a certain amount of product because they were shifting over from the one way people manufactured to the other way they were manufacturing. And we were losing about, uh, it was some percentage, like let's say it's 3% of our 
production was because of the different ways people operated. And you take 3%, that's a lot of that's money. A lot. So we got everybody room. We wrote a procedure that everybody could operate the same way. And all of a sudden, we saved 3% off the top in our production costs. And that's a big deal. In fact, that alone went from money losing to money making. Mm -hmm. He said, once we solved that problem, we started seeing other problems because it was that was the big frequent thing that was happening, but less frequent things were happening. He said, after a few months, I said, this stuff is really great. I like to go to a five-day course. So I went to the plant manager who sent us the two-day course. I said, hey, we've learned a lot, but we'd like to learn more. Can we send the team to a five-day course? And by then, we were doing really well, and it looked like the plant was going to stay in operation. He said, sure, go to a five-day course. That's why we showed up right. in Orlando. That was the next five-day course you had offered. So we went to that one, we came back, and we did more investigations and applied more of these things we learned and made better corrective actions. And we then won this award um, from, the, from the company corporate guys, and we got to, they sent a private jet to get us, and they flew us up to New York City to have, it was, a, it was a company that was based overseas. Mm -hmm. The CEO of the company flew over to New York to have dinner with them. Oh, wow. And they were like, you know, I've, I've been on a jet, but I've never been on a corporate <laughs> jet before. That's uh, a big deal. And it was a big deal. And they got, they got this award. He said, so we got back from that. I went to see the plant manager, and I said, gosh, this is really great. Do you think we could go to the summit? Mm -hmm. And sure enough, that's why they were at the summit was he said, sure, you guys could go to the summit. And they were there collecting even more information and learning more stuff that they could put to work to make their plan even better. That's what we want everybody to do. That is what we want we everybody to do. We want them to, to, to learn what they're going to learn. Don't go wait for an incident. Go take what you're learning in Taproot and go start looking at your company. Yes. And make these changes. And you can exactly. save money. And, I mean, it's... Utilizing it the right way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and, and the idea is... They weren't perfect when right. they started, and they had more they could learn, mm -hmm. but they had enough they could get started and they could see the value of what they were doing. And then they could learn more and actually get better at it. And so maybe maybe two-day, then five-day, then sure. summit is a good thing, but you can start right off with the five-day mm -hmm. course and maybe skip that first step and get both of the things we teach in both those courses in one course. So you gotta, you got to decide. You yeah. know, can I afford the time? Do I, am I, you know, if you if you aren't sure that you really want to use Taproot, if you're thinking it's a test, mm -hmm. well, maybe the two-day course is a good way to start out because then you can see what you're going to start learning from it, and then you can come back to go to a five-day. If your company already uses Taproot, so you know you're going to do it, well, maybe you ought to just start right off with a five-day course and, and become somebody who could do a major investigation if you had one. See, I like to do it the opposite. I like for somebody to go do the five day to figure it out and then if they need to have then they can have their two day people well this guy's already got all this well, knowledge that's, that's a good and way so to do when it too. they get a, if they get a little confused about something he's right there too your five day people can coach yeah. your two day people mm -hmm. yep that's true so there, there's a lot of different ways you can do this and one of the things we do is help people do that we talk to you what your needs are what what goals you have set um, if you're starting from scratch or if you've used tap root for years and years and years um, we can help make sure that you're on the right path to that's right for your team and right for your company. Um, that's why we have public and on-site courses. Um, sometimes people need customized courses, and we can do that. And it's also why we have our summit that's coming up. So yep. we want you all to go to our website, and you can see all the courses that we have. You can see the summit information. We want to talk to you, so feel free to contact us at info at taproot.com. Um, Follow us on all of our social media so they can get more. They can awesome subscribe, subscribe on that button down that there. button over there. And then hit the bell so and hit the bell. notified. I'm going to start bringing a bell. Uh, <laughs> that's what we need, better. Bell. But we need a bell. But we really, we have, we've got this set up in a way that it can work for your company um, in all different kinds of situations, whether it's to fit your budget, to fit the number of team members you have, if you're scattered all over the world, or if you're just centrally located. Really, it comes down, we can develop a roadmap for yes. them to, to, to go from where you are now mm -hmm. to where you want to be. And we're doing that every day these days. Yep. So we want to do that for you. So. Feel free to contact us, and well, Mark, thank you. Thank this you, was uh, I really loved hearing your stories about how people have used it. I yep. think that's fantastic. So, well, we appreciate you, and we look forward to seeing you uh, next week. Bye.